पंडरी पुरभासी पांडुरंग प्रकाशा विठलाय नमो नम मरुत्पुत्रा कवय भीमाय भयहारिणे श्रीमदानंदतीर्थाय प्रख्याताय नमो नम शिवतनय वरिष्ठ सर्वकल्याणमूर्ति परशुकमस्त शोभित मोदक अरुणकुसुमला व्यालंबोदर तम मम हृदय निवास श्रीगणेश नमा कृष्ण प्रता कृष्णमुस्मरता रात्रौ च कृष्ण पुनरुत्थिताय ते कृष्ण देहा प्रवेशंति कृष्ण आज्यम यथा मंत्रहूत हुताशे राय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेदसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पत नम बुद्धिबल यशोधैम निर्भयगता अचाढ़्यम वाक्पटुव हनुमस्मरण भवे चिपद गंभीर वाक्यमखंडित गुरुभाव व्यंजयती भाति श्री जयतीर्थवा प्रणमत्कामधेनु भजत्सुरत श्रीभावोदृत्द चिंतामणिमुपास्महे पूज्याय राघवेन्द्राय सत्यधर्मरताय चजता कलववृक्षा नमता कामधेन वे अन्नपूर्णे सदा पूर्णे शंकर प्राणवल्लभे ज्ञान वैराग्य सिद्ध्यर्थ भिक्षा देही च पार्वती हयग्रीव हयग्रीव हयग्रीवे उपदे तस्सरते वाणी जन्नु कन्या प्रवाहवत राकाचंद्र सन कांतिवदना नाकाधिराजस्तुता मूका सुरधुनी नीकाश वाक्वैभव श्रीकांक्षी नगरी विहार रसिका शोकापहंत्री सता एका पुण्यपरंपरा पशुपते आकारिणी राजते सत्यम विधात निजवृत्य भाषित व्याप्ति भूतेषु अखिलेशु चात्मन अदृश्यत अत्यभुत रूपमुद्वहन तम भेसभायां न मृग न मनुषम नरसिंह न मृग न मनुषम तस्मजीमूत सकाशम प्रदीप्तोत्तमकुंडल लोहिताक्ष महाबा महारजतवास और मॉडर्न हीरोज और विलन्स हू गेट ड्रंक एंड देर ब्रॉट फ्रॉम द पार्टी एंड थ्रोन ऑन द बेड सेम डिस्क्रिप्शन द सेम बोहेमियन सेंशुअस डिस्क्रिप्शन नथिंग इज चेंज नेम्स हैव चेंज दैट इज ऑल द सेम सेंशुअसनेस कंटिन्यू He has not even had time to wear his night suit. He is wearing the same clothes which he wore the whole day. Lovely, lovely clothes and jewels also. Pradit Tottama Kundalam. He looks like a huge dark cloud. Ji mu ta sankasham and lohit aksham red eyes. How can you make you make out a man's eyes when he is sleeping? They are half opened in drink. That's why. महाबाहुम महारजतवासम डार्क मैन विथ रेड क्लोथ्स यू कैन इमेजिन व्हाट अ कॉम्बिनेशन लोहितेन अनुलिप्तांगम देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ चंदना वन इज द रेड चंदना एंड द अदर इज द येलो चंदना द येलो चंदना इज सात्विक द रेड चंदना इज राजसिक दैट इज दैट इज व्हाट ही हैज अप्लाइड ऑल ओवर डार्क मैन रेड क्लोथ्स एंड रेड चंदना यू कैन इमेजिन लोहित अनुलिप्तांगम चंदन सुगंधिना हाउ डज इ लुक संध्या रक्त विवाकाशे तो यदम स तटित गणम हि लुक्स लाइक द इवनिंग स्काय विथ दाइटनिंग फ्लैशिंग क्रीडिवा उपरतम रात्र हैप्पी सेंशुअस टाइम 
some people love parties and drinks and sensuous time that is how kriditva uparatam ratrau vara bharana bhushitam wearing all the jewelry priyam rakshasa kanyanam rakshasanam sukhavaham he gave joy to the rakshasas and he was very dear to the rakshasa kanyas pitva uparatam chapi dadarshata mahakapi what a contrast between shri rama and ravana hanuman ji says my god look at this dead, deadly sensuousness pitva uparatam ratrau there's a difference between a sattvic sleep and a rajasic sleep he is sleeping after drink hanuman ji goes close to him my master dikshita used to entertain us we children 10 year old children used to sit in front so he will say one man snoring with one nose is terrible imagine 10 noses snoring all of them 10 heads you know and so hanuman ji becomes a small little hanuman ji and slowly comes when ravana is breathing in when ramna breathes out he goes far away again he breathes in he comes in you could almost see hanuman ji going close to ravana coming back so graphic is the description of hanuman ji and ravana suddenly hey that's the king's bed then there's a queen's bed beautiful lady who is she gaurim kanaka varnangi ishtam in antapureshwarim kapir bandodarim tatra shayanam charu rupinim satam drishtva mahabahu bhushitam marudatmaja tarkayamas tarkayamas siteti siteti rupa yauvana sampada he saw mandodari there for a moment he thought because she was beautiful because she was young because she looked prosperous tarkayamasa siteti rupa yauvana sampada gaurim kanaka varnangi she is so beautiful she is so lovely shakespeare described that demona as monumental alabaster she looks like marble that's how shakespeare talks of his heroine but my description of mandodari will tell you she has a golden complexion kanaka varnangi ishtam antapureshwarim she is the raja mahishi she is the chief queen the chief queen of ravana kapir mandodarim tatra shayanam charu rupini my master dikshit to say from times in memorial this is the irony of the world that men with beautiful wives are running after other men's wives very sad here is a devi like wife so beautiful how can he think of another man's wife but that is ravana that is lust that is kama what can you do anichchanapi varshneya baladiva niyojitah kama yesha krodha yesha rajoguna samudbhava here is the lovely lovely woman called mandodari sleeping there tarkayama sa siteti siteti rupa yauvana sampada like an ordinary vanara hanuman ji behaves for a while how does he feel he happy he takes his tail and then turns a twist he he kisses the tip of his tail and then goes up a pillar and then jumps from the pillar at sphotayama sa chuchumba pucham nananda chikrida jagau jagam thambana rohat nibapata bhuma nidarshayan swam prakritim kapinam this was my master this this way of chanting this shloka ಆಸ್ಫೋಟಯಾಮಸೂಮಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿಂಕಿ
separated from Rama. She can't wear the best dress, the best jewelry and have the best parties. No, no, this must be somebody else. Where is Mother Sita? Where is she? I can't find her. He searches high and low and Hanumanji goes into a bit of depression. This is a lesson for us that even great people go into depression. Even great people go into depression. And what happens when you go into depression? One negative thought follows another and finally you'll reach the nadir of depression, the abyss of depression. What is he saying? I'll go back and tell Angada that I couldn't find Mother Sita. Angada will go and tell Sugriva. Sugriva will go and tell Rama and Rama will die. When Rama dies, thinking of this, Lakshmana will die. When Lakshmana dies, Bharata will die. And after Bharata dies, Shatrupna will die. And they die, then you find Sugriva will also die. And then you will have also the mothers dying. Hanumanji says, everybody can't die. No? Somewhere the thought process is going wrong. When Viveka enters depression, you are a different person. Is that clear? You are a different person. Don't allow depression to take you to the nadir. When does a man commit suicide? When Viveka does not enter him. When Viveka enters him, he says, no, 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 no. Stop it, stop it. There must be hope. Hanumanji says, why am I getting negative thoughts? Because I am not prayed. You have to pray to Rama to get Rama. You have to pray to Sita to find Sita. You have to pray to Govinda to come to Dirumala. Otherwise, you can't come. You will have some problem on the way. Already there are so many problems. <laughs> you will have so many problems on the way. Namustu Ramaya Salakshmanaya Devya Chatasi Janakatmajaya Namustu Rudrendra Yamanilebhyo Namustu Chandrarka Marud Ganebhyaha Whoever has heard my master Anantaram Dikshitar will remember this shloka in his voice. Namostu Ramaya Salakshmanaya Devi Chatasi Janakat Majaye Namostu Rudrendra Yamani Lebhu Namostu Chandrarka Marutkane Biha Namostu Chandrarka Marutkane Biha He Rama we knew, we knew. You have to bow down. You have to bow down to the Lord to get the Lord. And then he gets a flash. Prayer is the only antidote to depression. Do you like it? Prayer is the only antidote to depression. Whenever you have any sad thought, you come back to Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Prayer is the only antidote to depression. When you're praying, you get a flash. Hanumanji says, yes, I got a flash. I know the map. I know the map of Lanka. There is one place where I have not explored and that is Ashoka Vanika. He goes to Ashoka Vanika, an artificial park created by Ravana in the most beautiful park. And he goes there, sits on a Shimshapa tree. The Shimshapa tree has very thick foliage so he can hide in it. Sapushpitankram ruchiram tarunankura pallavam tamarukya Mahabahu Shimshapam Parnasamvritam Parnasamvritam covered with leaves. He goes and sits there, vantage point for him. And from there he watches to make the long story short. Ravana is approaching Mother Sita. He's first my Lord M Ambassador Hanumanji sees Sita for the first time. This is Sita suffering separated from her spouse. Now I know. Now I know why my Lord is crying so much. <laughs> In the Champura Ramayana, Bhoja goes one step further and says, I have changed my party now. I was Rama's devotee, from today I am Sita's devotee. How can my master live without a wife like her, says Hanumanji. <laughs> Even the sun can live without sunlight, without the sh shade, shaya. Even the moon can live without moonlight. Saprana eva vasatiti vichitra metatu, he says, vichitra. My father, Rama, how is he alive, separated from a mother like this? Upavasa krisham dinam nishvasantim puna punaha dadarsha shukla pakshadu chandra rekham ivamalam. She's 
totally thin, emaciated, thin. She has not eaten for several days. So how does she look? Like the crescent moon in the bright fortnight. In the dark fortnight, the crescent moon looks bright. But in the bright fortnight, she looks very pale. The best, best description or the simile here is, she looks like a word which has lost its original meaning when it enters a foreign language. <laughs> this is Valmiki's way of describing. Look at her. Samskarena yathahinam vacham arthantaram gatam vacham arthantaram gatam Wherever she sits, she makes the whole surrounding lustrous, radiant. Kurvati prabhaya devim sarva viti miradishaham Everywhere she is spreading light, so much of Aishwarya, Mahalakshmi, no? She is sitting there and Hanumanji says, Dushkaram kritavan ramu hino yadanaya prabhu dharayati atmano deham na shokena avasidati Hanumanji says, my Lord's heart should have torn into two, separated from her. He is still alive, he is still alive. Hanumanji is feeling sad for her and when he looks at her, camera off, Valmiki turns to the Rakshasis. Contrast. Contrast creates humor. I told you only three episodes in the Ramayana have Hasya Rasa. And now is the description of the Rakshasis. When we were children, we used to wait for this description. And my master Dikshtar used to have a graphic detail of the several distortions and contortions in their faces. You, know? you can imagine why. Their heart is ugly, their face is ugly, their figure is ugly. Ekakshi. One had one big face and eye in the center, you can imagine. Ekakshi, Ekakarna, one has got only one year. Chakarna Pravaranam Tatham, one has a year that covered the whole body. Imagine, my God, I've never thought of such distortions. Akarna, one had no ears at all. Shanku Karna Cha, suddenly you find a lady who has no nose. And you search for the nose, it's like a chimney on the head. Imagine how she would look, no? Nasiko uchvasa, uchvasa nasikam, mastako uchvasa nasikam. All of them are ugly and Mother Sita is so beautiful sitting amidst them. Hanumanji says, how much she must be suffering. Suddenly, suddenly you find, announcement is made, King Ravana arrives, King Ravana arrives. Forgive me for saying this. However, Dear a husband may be, no wife follows her husband when he is wooing another woman. But the charismatic personality of Ravana was such that all his queens were coming with him. Because he was such a charismatic husband, all of them were coming with him when he is wooing another woman. And he tells her, why can't you become mine? When I see you, the moment a lustful man looks at a good woman, she trembles like a leaf in a storm. <laughs> a lustful man looks at a chaste woman, she trembles like a leaf in a storm. Imagine twenty eyes staring at her. <laughs> My mother cannot bear it. My mother cannot bear the lustful looks of this man. Hanumanji is feeling sad for her. Look at the way she is being ill-treated. Oh, you're so beautiful, Devi. One long plait you have and one sad face and you're wearing only one silken garment. I'll give you several garments and you are so thin and emaciated. I'll give you the best food. I'll give you the best of luxuries. And who is she? Namaste stu maha maye Shri Pite Suja Poojite Shankra Chakra Gada Haste Mahalakshmi Namustute Mahalakshmi 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 Namustute Mahalakshmi 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 Namustute Have you seen Padmavati Devi during the Brahmotswam? Recently, I saw her in the Muttangi. <laughs> oh, lovely pearls. <laughs> Beautifully decked in, in a robe of pure pearls, lustrous pearls and a huge pendant of emerald in the center. How can you ever beat her prosperity? What can you give her? <laughs> we beggars, what can we give her? He says, you're so beautiful. 
Sometimes people are so bad and so lustful that their language also becomes vicious. Forgive me for translating this. He says you are so beautiful that even while creating you, Brahmaji must have lost his balance of mind. Only a lustful man can speak these words. Sri Rama speaks the words of Dharma. Ravana speaks the language of lust. That is the difference. Tvam samasadya vaidehi rupa yavana shalini tappuman ativarteta sakshata bipitamaha Oh, every limb of yours is beautiful. And as I watch you, my eye is stationed at every limb. Yat yat pashyami te gatram shitam shu sadrashanane tasmin tasmin pratushroni chakshurvamani bhadyate Twenty eyes staring at her, every limb of hers. Mother Sita cannot bear this anymore. Bhava maithili bhariyami mohamenam visarjaya Why don't you become mine? Why don't you come into my harem and I will make you the chief queen? Whatever entertainment you want, Geetam Dhrittam Cha Padhyam Cha Labhamam Prapya Maithili You'll have all the, all the artistic entertainment that you want, the best music and the best dance and the best painting, everything in my palace. Come Devi, come. Why don't you become mine? He keeps on staring at her and offering her one thing after the other. She takes a blade of grass and puts it between them. According to Shastra and decorum, the respectful or respectable woman should not talk to a stranger without an intermediary. Somebody should be there in between them. So she takes a blade of grass. What does the blade of grass incident signify? First, to me you're like a blade of grass. <laughs> you're just a blade of grass. Second, my husband, Sri Rama, in the Jayanta ex episode, took a blade of grass and made it into Brahmastra. Even today he can make it. That is why a blade of grass. Third meaning, you came as a sannyasin and every sannyasin should be given a darbhasana and that is why a blade of grass. Next, I can burn you like a blade of grass. But the handles of history will carry this tale that Mother Sita was abducted and she shaved herself. <laughs> She saved herself, the credit will not go to my master. That is why I cannot kill you as a blade of grass can be burnt. Next, not a blade of grass in the world moves without my master's consent. Remember that. He is the master of the world. When she put this blade of grass, Nivartaya Manumatta Swajane Kriyatam Manaha All his queens are standing on one side and you have Ravana standing here, she says, Turn your manas towards them. Nevartaya Manumatta. Please write ma and na. In Sanskrit, write ma and na. Turn it, it is nama. Namaskara for me because I am the mother of the world. Mana for them and nama for me. She is the Jagan Mata, teaching her foul son how to behave in a fair manner. She's trying to put some sense into this lustful son. He continued to look at her. The next question is a pathetic question. Are there no good people in your court? Or oh, don't you listen to them? I remember Shurpanaka met us for the first time and she said that you have three brothers. And among them she said, Vibhishanastu dharmatma naturakshasa cheshtitaha. Don't you listen to good people in your court? Iha santo navasanti sato vana nuvartase. Pathetic question, isn't it? Are there no good people? Not even one good soul in your darbar who can take you on the path of justice? Is there nobody teaching you the right path? Or you don't listen to them when they talk to you? Iha santo navasanti sato vana nuvartase. Having been the wife of Sri Rama, I cannot belong to anybody, she says. He gets angry. He's been cursed by Brahmaji. He cannot take a woman by force. If he takes a woman without her consent, his head will be gone into pieces. So he has to convince her. And only then he can make her his own and then possess her. He can't perforce take her. Now he's gone, warning her. I give you two months. 
if you don't agree to become my wife then my cooks will cook you in my kitchen and and have you for breakfast